Welcome to Video Blog Basics. Today what I'm going to show you on a Mac is a basic workflow with ScreenFlow. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to show you how to make a quick intro, a 10 second intro, really fast, really easy, and extremely professional looking. So first of all, we're going to start up ScreenFlow. If you don't have ScreenFlow, there will be a Camtasia video here in a little bit. But how about we just carry on and uh, see what's happening. So with ScreenFlow, first thing that comes up is record video. You can actually get video from the built-in eyesight and you know show yourself staring at the screen. I generally choose not to, but everybody has their different preferences. And you know if that's your thing, then turn it on. Record audio. Now I have a mic um, built in, so I generally want to do a built-in input. Uh, or you can say, I believe the default system. Hmm. Not in this case. So at this time, make sure that you know which mic you're going to use, whether it's the built-in microphone or the built-in input, which we're going to use. And record computer audio. That's if you want to hear the sounds on your computer. Once you've done that, it's pretty simple. You hit record. And at this point, I'd be preparing uh, for what I'm going to say on you know, how we're going to make an intro for a video. So now that we have things recording, what we're going to do here is, you know, introduce you to Keynote. Now, there's a few of you out there might not have Keynote. Some of you might have PowerPoint. You know, use whatever you're comfortable with. You'll still be able to get the same sorts of effects um, through PowerPoint. I prefer Keynote, but, you know, everybody's got their thing. And at this point, we're going to choose a white template. You can use any template you want here. But one of the big things that I want you to be aware of is down here, you can choose different sizes and one of the sizes, or these are standard screen resolution sizes. And one of them here um, is 720p, which is the essentially the, the lower end of HD. And generally I try to keep things in there. You can do full HD if you want, but make sure you choose a slide size that, that will work with the rest of your videos. And the, all my videos I do at 1280 by 720. Let's choose the white. And while we're here, I'm going to open up this folder that I created. And with this folder, I've got a little clip of music, a little 10 second clip that I want to use for the intro. Here, I'll give you a listen. Something like that. And then we've got a background graphic that we're going to use. Now, first thing we're going to do in Keynote, I'm going to move this over here, is that we're going to take a look at the masters. And when we go up to masters, I want to always start with a blank slate. And at this point, I'm just going to drag and drop this graphic in here. And I can see it's not quite big enough, so I'm going to expand it a little bit. And it looks pretty good. Now some of you uh, generally work in Keynote right here. And what I like to do is I like to show the inspector. And what the inspector will help us do is do the builds and be able to adjust the graphics as far as they look. So first of all, I like this. It looks pretty good. I'm going to have most of my text down in this one area, but I want this to be sort of maybe a little grayed out a little bit. So we're going to come in here. We're going to go into there. I forget what this is called here. What do we got? Graphic inspector. We're going to turn the opacity down a little bit. We're just going to fade it out. So it's, you know, not quite the center of attention. So that's pretty good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a text box. I'm going to place it over about here and I'm going to choose the font that we use for video blog basics, which is Eras Bold. And we're going to say because it's the title, we want it to be fairly large. So let's go to 96. That looks pretty good. And last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose like an orange, a ready or an orange color that we normally have with that. So at this point, what I'll do is type in Video Blog Basics. And you can see that because of the way I chose things, I need to expand this box out so that I can fit all of that in there. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now I'm not a really not a big fan of the color right now so we're just gonna go for black for this one 
You always feel free to change things up. And then we're going to add another text box. Same deal. We'll bring it down here. We're going to enlarge it a little bit. And of course, we're going to change the font to your ass bold. That hasn't changed that font. It seemed to have cut back. I should have known that, but we'll just get back into here. So we got there. And we'll go to how to make an intro video or an intro with Keynote. Now you can do multiple lines if you really want to. I'm just kind of choosing not to at this point. And since I have that selected, the whole box, I'm going to bump up the size a little bit. No, 64 is too big, so let's try 48. That looks pretty good. We'll get it so it's one line and put it in here right about there. Okay, so we've got these two pieces of text. You can add any sort of you know, looks to it, drop shadows, anything that you want. Come in here, but just for simplicity, we're going to come in here and just deal with things as we have them. So, first thing we're going to do is take a look at the slide. Do you want this to fade in or fade out? I'm not going to worry too much about that. That can be handled in post-production. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to choose Video Blog Basics. We want it to build in. Let's do an effect of just dissolve. It'll be the first thing in order and let's say you want it to dissolve one second let's say 1.5 seconds so you that looks pretty good okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to choose keynote or how to make the intro with keynote we're going to choose a build in with it come down here let's try a typewriter just to give it a little bit bit of a different look that looks like something probably used to be yeah that speed there you can see a little preview happening up in here now at this point, this is a very critical part. Hit more options. And in here, you're going to choose the first one. Start build automatically after transition. In other words, as soon as this slide is loaded, it's going to bring that in. Then you're going to choose the second part. And you want to start that build after build one. So this is automatic, automating everything for you. Okay. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to drop in some music. And it's going to leave a little icon here. Don't worry about that. Now, this is one thing that's really kind of cool is now that we're going to export the video from here, it's going to have, because we have all our transitions timed and we have the music here, it's going to bring up the slide and the slide's going to remain there until the music is done playing. So, this is where it gets really, really handy. Come into share, hit export. At this point, you want to hit QuickTime. Generally, don't worry about this. Playback uses manual advance. You only have one slide, so don't worry about it. Now, remember, when you're doing an intro, a lot of people have long intros. I've done a lot of long intros. They're truly a waste of time. You know, basically, don't lose your audience's interest with an intro. So do something that's around 10 seconds long. The audio clip I have is about 10 seconds long. The format, I want full quality and large. In other words, keep all the size and everything. You can see that everything's perfect down here. And it's going to have frames per second at 24. Not the best, but that will do for me. We're going to hit next. Give it a name. So let's just call this intro. We're going to dump it into the same folder down here. We're going to hit export. And this will come up with the little preview window as it records the video. So let's just take a quick look and I might fast forward it. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe not. It looks like it's building this quite fast. So this is awesome. So at this point, we have our intro video. Don't believe me? Now, we got to keep in mind this is only taking me a few minutes. I know it'll take some of you a little longer, but, you know, get in there. You know, Seriously, an intro could cost you hundreds or thousands of dollars. You can build one in less than an hour with no experience. So... Here's a trick that some Mac users don't know is click on a file, you get that play, but if I hit the space bar, it will pre-play the video. Check that out, we got an intro, just boom, we're done. So there's the tutorial part of, you know, using the um, screen flow. Well, actually, it's kind of a tutorial within a tutorial. I, I apologize for maybe sounding a bit confusing, but... 
essentially at this point you've done the recording on how to do an intro so I'm gonna hit here and I'm gonna go stop record on screen flow and at this point we're gonna edit the video together now the video that you're gonna be watching this is gonna be edited again um, through another system because obviously I'm recording in a different uh, with a different recorder but at this point let's just take a quick look at what we got from the recording quick little intro on how to make a intro video an intro intro and we're gonna open up keynote now so we've got all this it looks pretty good now we could go into how to use ScreenFlow. Um, I'll go into more detail right now but this is just your sort of basic workflow now we have all this this video here including so, the last little run of the video some Mac users don't know. and you can tell the run of the video because this is the system audio on the bottom and this is the audio plus the picture or sorry let me try that again this is your screen recording and screen audio or computer audio and this is the audio from the built-in input so you know you can tell when I played the video because the music is right there and I'll show you right there so we have all that now we'll go into all the transitions and everything that you really want but right now we just want to tidy things up and show people how to use ScreenFlow after we've created the tutorial and the tutorial this time was the how to make an intro so we click on this tab up here which is media and we're gonna add media and we're gonna add that intro that we had in our folder and this popped up the folder um, I'd originally saved in this would probably not necessarily come to the default but we're gonna open that up and I've got that intro movie I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna drag it down right to about there at this point we want to maybe take this guy and this guy move them back up and have them sync you'll notice that when I drag this um, the basically the video and the system audio or sorry the built-in India ah, let me try that again this is getting very confusing so this is the screen recording and the system audio right here and you'll notice that it has lost sync with the built-in input or the audio of my voice coming in so you gotta make sure that these things stay in sync I'm gonna expand this out a little bit now we're gonna go into the more of the editing within ScreenFlow feel free if you purchase ScreenFlow go into the help menus go to ScreenFlow online and find out how to do a lot of this stuff but I'm just gonna drag that across here and you'll notice that there's kind of a default transition between these two so let's just take a quick look at what's happening here a quick little intro on how to make so maybe just a little too much of a crossfade we'll do that we we'll make sure that this audio is back in sync with the top so that we have everything in, in sync essentially now this is 720 here and the screen is much larger and the reason why the screen is much larger is because well it's it's my my computer screen it is going to be larger so normally we'd adjust the size I'm going to go through this one right here now you have the scale so we want to scale this down so it kind of matches fairly close or fits within what that 720 would be so 62 seems a little big 61 not quite so let's just say 60 percent that looks pretty good so when we come over here you'll notice that it's quite small we don't want that to happen we want this canvas, not 1920. We want that to be 1280. We want this to be 720. We'll hit apply and that's squeezed everything down so that our video blog basics intro is there and it fits perfectly within that frame. Then we're going to transition into the screen and be able to see things from here and once you go through this tutorial or once I go through this tutorial what I'll likely do is do things like you can come into here um, at a certain point in time and enlarge the screen so you can bring in the attention to a certain area but how about we just finish this thing up just on a basic workflow if you have an intro there might be a chance that you have an outro um, generally the intro and outro to me are the same thing so I'm just going to drag that in there Right about there we're gonna zoom in on that one section so I can take this guy drag him in there for just a little bit of a crossfade 
for when the audio finishes. So I'm gonna hit here and I'm gonna go. And there you go. Once you've got all that set up, essentially what we've done is a start to finish of how you could use ScreenFlow to record your screen and make an intro for your for your screen flow presentation and at this point what we want to do is we want to hit file export we'll go into the settings here really basic right now generally I turn the scale off I will generally want it a hundred percent because I want to have that you always want to go into customize and at this point the video settings once I go into the video settings I generally don't like that current frames per second. 24 frames per second doesn't stream well in, online. Uh, your best bet, especially for stuff that is non-video, like, and when I say non-video, I mean a video camera picture of myself talking. This is all just screen capture. You want between 10 and 15 frames per second. Now, because I have a fade in, I like to have 15 frames per second, and that helps reduce the file size. Takes time, always worth it though. Best quality multi-pass. We'll say that that's okay. So that looks pretty good. We got H.264, definitely my favorite. That seems to be a, a web common video type that works very well. Frame rate at 15 frames per second. Dimensions here. Now let's get quickly into sound. Don't always have to have stereo. In this case, mono is more than enough and that reduces file size. You can choose how many kilohertz. Generally, I don't like going with the default or the highest. I usually take a step down, and all of that is just so that I reduce the file size. So render settings quality for audio is normal. That all looks pretty good. Those are my recommendations for all the exports, other than always make sure that prepare for internet streaming is there, and always have it set for fast start. We hit OK. You hit export and it will produce a video for you. Once that video is done, you should be ready to upload it uh, to YouTube or be able to place it on your site. And we'll cover that in future episodes. But hopefully that's helped you out. And well, the video you're going to be watching is going to be slightly different than this. So enjoy and I'll talk with you guys shortly.